Yo, 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 yo. What's up, man? What's going on? Um wanted to uh I wanted to talk about this uh this the Kyrie Irving trade request. Um first off, I'm not surprised because he didn't really want to sign back with the with the Nets anyway. So I'm not surprised. I'm I'm pretty sure him and KD is going to be gone probably by the end of probably by the uh, at the end of the season. Um, so this might be Ben Simmons or it just might just be Kevin Durant's team. He'll stay and won't. When Kyrie is out, then more nine times out of the ten, Ben Simmons going to lead too. So it's the, the whole next process has just been a train wreck, even with Hart. It just they just couldn't stay healthy and be on the same page and stuff. So it's a disaster waiting to happen, man. I think they should just blow that team up and just start back over from scratch and just build from drafting. That's the best thing because you ain't gonna really get nothing really too much for Kyrie Irving. Then you got a older point guard now. That's um. What is, I don't know how many years he's been in the league. What has it been? Has it been eight, nine, ten years, something like that? I can't remember. Um, former number one overall pick out of Duke. Um, left for one year. I don't. I think he only played five or six games. I think, and still got the number one pick. So that's crazy. But. If you notice, every team that he's been to, when he gets to be that number one guy, he can't take the pressure. When he got drafted in Cleveland, they couldn't. They had to go get LeBron to relieve that pressure from him. When he got traded to Boston, um, they didn't get past the second round. And then on top of that, they got further without him when he got hurt. Than they did when he's uh when he's on the on the team and healthy. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man. But this this dude might just be a cancer, and then will him be traded to the Nets? I can't I can't remember who he got traded for for him to come to the Nets. I don't, I, I can't remember. Um, I really damn I really do not. I really do not remember. I don't remember. It doesn't matter anyway. Um, but yeah, this dude is a cancer, bro. This this dude is a straight cancer. Um, and what's was crazy is that I I got a pair of his shoes, and the shoes that I do have is is real nice, man. I couldn't even pass it up. But man, it's just that every team he's been on, when he's that dude, he can't. He can't take that pressure. He doesn't want to be that that guy, and he definitely doesn't want to be a number two because that's the reason why he left uh, Cleveland because he didn't want to play second fiddle to LeBron. You know what I'm saying? So, man, eventually he wanted to leave Boston because he didn't want to be fiddle to uh, Tatum and Brown and Smart. So then with Brooklyn, it's like you're going to be second fiddle to KD. It, that's KD team. That's not Kyrie's. That's KD team. You know what I'm saying? Ben Simmons just looked lost out there. Um, it's just like he's not the type of person that would get his teammates involved. He's not the type of person that would be like, okay, I'm gonna get 10, 15 assists. He's it, it, he's not that dude. He's a scoring. Point guard. Yes, he has handles, one of the best handles in NBA history. But this dude can't lead a team by himself. He can't be that vocal leader. He can't be that guy that you can just say, yeah. Now, he has hit some clutch shots over the years. He, The reason why Cleveland has that championship. So, it's just to me, ever since then, when he left Cleveland, he just really hasn't been the same player. He's had his moments at Boston, had his moments with the Nets, but 
they just they not gonna get past the second round. You know what I'm saying? You got the Bucks. We got the Celtics. They're not going to get past the Bucks or the Celtics. I don't think they are. You know, hell. They'll, they'll get by Philly. Then again, I don't know if they'll even get past Philly. They, they, they can get past Philly. Let me, let me think about that. Yeah, they are. But, oh, man, Kyrie Irving, man. Some people say he should go ahead and retire. Some people say he should go to the Lakers. He should go to the Clippers. Go to the Raptors. Um, I damn sure don't want him in the, with the Pistons. I don't. To be honest with you, I don't want him to. I don't want the Pistons to give up anybody except Rodney Magruder, Corey Joseph, and Norris Noel. Everybody else, I don't want to see leave. I I just I just don't. I know Sadiq Bay and Bogdanovich is Trey Bay and, and Isaiah Stewart and Killian and all these guys. Hamadou. It's just I just want this team to just see how it is. We don't know how it is with a full K and then whoever we draft, we're gonna get better. We're going to get better, man. It's just we got a lot of undersized guys in different positions. So, But Kyrie, man, I don't see a team really jumping out to get them. And then at the same time, you don't want a team to give up their young prospects. I mean, look what the Knicks was doing with Donovan Mitchell. They didn't want to give up their young prospects for him. Now, you still got Nick fans that's like, oh, man, we should have got Donovan Mitchell. We could have got better. But, yeah, you would have lost your young nucleus to get him. And then it would have been just been him and Jalen Brunson or or Julius Randle because, you know what I'm saying, somebody would have had to give would, uh, gave up with that. But, you know, with Kyrie, man, you're not going to give up your young players for him. You're not going to send them to the Knicks for no Obi Toppin, Quentin Grimes, or um, Manuel Quigley. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Knicks would be stupid to do that. You know, some people say, well, Oklahoma City Thunder, they got draft picks for days. But they got a young nucleus who, in a couple, in a few years, can be that deal if they can keep uh, Shea Gildas Alexander. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be something. Even with this Piston team, man, if they, if we can get them one or two picks with K coming back next year healthy and this team and Ivy and all them, oh, man, that'll be something. That'll be something. But you ain't going to see too many teams that's going to be like, oh, man, I give up the farm to get Kyrie Irving. They're not going to do that. But he, he, he messed that up himself. You know, with these trade talks and talking about, you know, all the antics and stuff and the earth is flat and all these other stuff that he talked. It's just, it's just, this the mess. It didn't tarnished. It didn't tarnished him. It didn't made him like a lot of teams don't want him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man, but his trade record request came at the worst time. But then again, is it is it, is it any time is the worst time though in the NBA to request a trade? Like once you request a trade, that just tells me about yourself that you didn't even want to be here. He didn't even want to be here, but when they gave him that that uh, one year deal, they like, oh yeah, well, you're giving me thirty forty million, I do whatever you want to. But technically, he didn't want to be here, just like KD didn't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. That's just how I look at it. You know, y'all tell me what y'all think, man, about Kyrie Irving and his trade request. And uh, let me know what y'all think, man. I'll holler at y'all. Peace out.